Welcome back to A Bite of Alone Daybreak. And we're in an adventure map right now by Technologic 101 or 1.1. 1 .1. Wait, wait, hold on. Technologic 101. <laughs> That's the one. And Adam3945. I don't know what those numbers mean, but I hope it's not his zip code. Um, yeah, so basically we're in a... I think from what I could tell is has somewhat of a puzzle theme in the beginning. We're stuck inside of a house. I, we don't really know why we're here. I took a quick brief through, run through the, through the rules. Pretty standard stuff, like don't break your blocks. But there's also one a little bit strange rule here. Do not use the given lever to open the bedroom door. I will hate you for it. <laughs> also, you'll miss something important that you'll need to solve later. Uh, I was looking at this map before I was recording and I think we've run into our first puzzle. Which one is which one is the bedroom? Um, <laughs> it says to use. Uh, it says somewhere to use this to open the bathroom door. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a quick skim through. Begin with the given lever in the chest to open the bathroom door. But don't open the bedroom door. Uh, <laughs> I really hope that I opened the right door. This is so embarrassing. I don't know which one is the bathroom. But that actually, no, no, that looks like a toilet. That looks like a toilet in there. So let's open that one up. So we're also given a backstory and that I have not read yet. So let's read this together right now. You're a hardworking, happy man with an amazing wife and kids. Your name is Brian. That's a good name. Together with your family, you decided to build a new house in spacious new and spacious house in a more secluded area for a lot of peace and quiet. Your last visit was a little before completion. Your last visit was a little before completion. And you went to your apartment in the city. Late at night, tired and sleepy, you immediately fall asleep. You had horrible nightmares, but you finally wake up. However, it's not the same room, not the same place. You find yourself in a new and far away house. Though, th though locked, Iron bars and doors are keeping you trapped. Hello, you ask. Is anyone there? You figure out you're all alone. You notice a lever in a chest near the bed and look around to scout your surroundings. You lock your eyes on the bathroom door. Hmm, I wonder if this is the bathroom, you ask. And you continuously uh, switch back and forth wondering which one is the bathroom and which one to open. No, I'm just kidding, that's not what it says, but that's what I did because I'm dumb. <laughs> As you say this, you figure out you're talking to yourself. <laughs> yes, I am. Nobody can hear you here. This is the story of my Let's Play life. <laughs> well, there's nothing else I can do anyway, you whisper, a little scared. Um, yeah, there's nothing else we can do except, uh... Alright, time to go. No, I'm just kidding, there's a chest here. Let's take a look, there's a stick! That is, in fact, one half of a lever. Uh, also, I'm sorry for if I have any derpy movement during this entire series, because I am actually trying to learn how to use the WSAD keys. Before being left-handed, I always used the arrow keys, but then I kind of figured that it was really hard to touch my number pad and switch around between my different numbers using the, the keys. So I'm trying this now. Here's another book called Story. I know my wife loves hiding stuff in weird places, but nah, this is just a coincidence, right? Mentioning your wife, you remember her birthdays. Birthday is still in a few days. She sure does love her tulips, doesn't she? She sure does love her tulips. Is this a tulip? Is that a hint? Um, well this is a tulip, I like tulips too. Hmm, we certainly are locked in a bar. Iron bars. <laughs> Looks like there's some kind of mesa mesa desert outside. Uh, so, she sure does love her tulips. We can't cut through this door. And was there anything else in here? I didn't check the hopper. Nope. Glowstone, that was, this is the shower. And that's the loo. Some hedges. Hmm. Hmm. This has to be something about the tulips, right? Am I allowed to break this, or... No, that can't be. Is there something around here? Let me feel around. 
Okay, well, I looked in the bathroom, I looked around, and couldn't find anything yet. So, good night. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> maybe this will have some effect? No? No, it said not to break any blocks, but maybe I should just take the tulip. I'm gonna try. And feel bad because it didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, really? Hmm. That's very odd. And I'm also very bad at this game, apparently. Okay, the game rule said not to break anything, but I am going to just look around here. I'm just going to take a quick poke. I'm going to put them back if I don't find anything. And if this leads to like the next room, then I'll be sure to put it right back. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> okay, let me try to take out this bookshelf. I know I can't put this bookshelf back, but... Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So it was underneath. It was underneath all of that. I didn't quite get that for a long time. So let's... How do I use my inventory? That's right. <laughs> so I'm, of course I'm still getting used to these new controls and there's a lever. So we can progress in the game. Hurrah! Alright, let's take this lever and open the bedroom door. And hopefully Mr. Technologic 101 won't hate us forever. Hmm, we're in a nice little hallway. And we get another story. I'm gonna... I've also read something on like the forums, the commenting section that kind of said that you kind of get bogged down with the stories, so I'm wondering if I should just... I'll put them in order. I'll put them in order like this. I'll organize them when I get them. They're all named the same thing, so it's a little bit confusing. So let's take a look. It wasn't that hard getting out of this room. I suddenly feel confident about this. Trying to comfort yourself, you notice you're in the hallway, but the layout is a bit different from what you remember. You look around a bit carefully and something grabs your attention. I know my wife always said, just leave it be, darling, <laughs> but still. Does that mean I'm supposed to break some leaves? Um, I'm not sure who designed this house, but it's, it's pretty much only his door that like a dog could fit through. <laughs> but I guess we have to take the hint of leaves. And it does seem like there's a chest behind there, so there we go. We have enough for another lever. And that is not the inventory key, again. <laughs> let's make another lever, and let's try to progress. So here's the lever, and what do I open? Do I open you? You don't open. The doggy door doesn't open, we've decided. Um... Oh, nice, awesome. That was fun. Let's continue along this way here. We might get another story. Yep, here's another story, let's trade these out. Storybook number three says you reach one of the rooms, gaining courage slowly but surely. This room seems smaller than I thought. Also, somebody should put a door here. There's a lack of privacy, you know. True. True story. To keep your sanity, you keep talking to yourself as if the one who had terrible taste in doors is still around. I think this is reading my mind. <laughs> you notice there's a wooden door into the next room, making it accessible. Chills start racing down your spine. Where's the challenge in this? You try to hide being frightened. There's only one way though. You slowly advance. I think this map is speaking to me. Like me directly as a person sitting in a room talking to himself. <laughs> but here's another bed. Um, uh, going on this venture sure is tiring. I should take another snooze. I wonder if these checkpoints are actually necessary. I'm not sure. But there's only one way to go. Hmm. This is an oddly... <laughs> I see you. Thank you, fancy graphic settings. <laughs> Alright, we got a bunch more stuff and another storybook. So let's just keep these organized. Another story I'll try to read a little bit quickly from now on. That's a bad word. Naughty word leaves. My wife always knew what was going around. My wife always knew what was going around? Did I miss something? You sob as you realize how much you miss your family. Was there something about that coffee table? I'm so confused. Did I miss a book? I think I, I think I wasn't supposed to get that yet. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to see it. Oh, I wasn't supposed to, I wasn't hinted to destroy it yet. I wasn't hinted to destroy it yet. I was cheating. Um, here, that'll cover it up. 
<laughs> Let's try to. I think I was supposed to read this this one first. I don't. I didn't understand. Um, here we go. The lack of the door was a surprise to you. Is this getting easier? As you ask yourself this, your wife's saying comes back into your mind. Should I? You start to say. You start to say that it didn't get easier. You start to see that it didn't get easier. You wander around trying to find something helpful, but you never forget you never but never forgetting what your wife said. This place is dusty and spiders are making themselves comfy. You should clean around here every once in a while. You should clean around here every once in a while. Thank you. Sounds pretty typical. I don't do any cleaning. Brian the non cleaner. And I think this is when we open it, or was it? Yep, that's right, sorry. <laughs> I completely forgot that I put this, the book back. But after the wife says to clean, then the wife says a bad word and says, my wife always knew what was going around. You sob as you realize how much you miss your family. Was there something, was, was there something about that coffee table? I'm still a little bit confused. I, I started crying very suddenly. <laughs> Let's put this in order. <laughs> I guess I'm crying now. I'm uh, I'm very sad, and I'm trying to find a coffee table. Er, is this a coffee table? What's the web for? Is the web just dirt, dust? Huh. Is this a coffee table? I mean, I kind of see it's a coffee table. Uh. Hmm. Let me break this, and I'll put it back if it's not the coffee table. Hmm. That's not the coffee table. It seems. No, there's nothing there. And are we looking for another? We're looking for a stick. We can't break blocks willy nilly to find it. But we're also still outside. It's still daybreak. We're still alone. Apparently, we're crying. Huh. Was there a coffee table back here? I don't think so. I don't think I should be backtracking this far. Uh, is it one of these a coffee table? What's a coffee table? What does that even look like? <laughs> um, hold on. There we go. Okay, apparently this is a coffee table. I now know. There's another story and a stick. And a block of quartz. That might be relevant later. Let's read this story real quick. I knew it! Next time, be careful with the furniture, buddy. It's expensive for crying out loud. Don't break it like I just did. You try to maintain your sanity. You're still surprised about these white blocks you find as you cannot figure out what they're used for. This map is literally speaking to me. I'll just hold on to them just in case. If only they weren't so heavy. This crafting table sure is old and dusty. I'll take care of it later. Right now I'm in a hurry. Uh, it says I'll take care of it later. Uh, does that mean don't break it or does that mean break it? I'm a little bit confused. I'm also a little bit confused because these are really light. Look at me throw them around. Look how light they are. Blech. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to take that to mean I'm supposed to break the crafting table. Even though... Now I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to break the crafting table. If, if I read what's in here and it turns out it doesn't make sense, then I'll put it right back. Seeing this lever brings great joy as you st are one step closer to freedom. Gonna hold it tight to it like it's the most important thing in my entire life. I hope my wife didn't hear that. Okay, uh, maybe we're not supposed to have this lever yet. Maybe we are. I hope that we'll find out soon. There's a couple of uh, chests here and I can't get that chest because it's locked. So I'm just gonna go to this chest. Oh, it's not locked, rather. It's just, uh, you know, not not openable from my position. All right, we're going to read the storybook. Once again, there's a lot of reading here. Hopefully, this can go by quickly. You find the stairway to the bottom floor in the hallway. So this is the rest of the hall, huh? It's been, it's been cut off in such a weird manner. Tastes, who am I to judge? Before going down, you have a look to see if there's something you'll need. Spider webs. <laughs> if only I had something to get rid of them. 
Oh. I don't think I was supposed to get get rid of the crafting table. Um, but n yeah, there the crafting table is gone. I got a lever, and I'm holding on to this lever for dear life. I think that was the point where I was supposed to go back and get the crafting table, or or was it? What is this? Huh. Well, we can't go in there right now, according to the story. I don't think. But we can now get rid of cobwebs because I have a sword. Once again, another storybook. You managed to get down safely, but still frightened a little. You notice another wooden door, but you ignore it because of the sound of running water. You rush to the basement stairs. Oh, this is a very linear story, isn't it? <laughs> There's a door here. Nah. There's the sound of running water behind it. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Do I ignore this too? I don't think I ignore this because I have the sword. Oh no, there's so many stories. Which am I supposed to read first? Wow, there's a lot of books here. This is a bit much on the book side, I think. I'm just going to leave left to right because, uh, yeah. Read before going down. How would I have known to read it if I didn't get it? Oh, okay. The basement, but why is it flooded? There must be a leak down there. Eh, a break wouldn't hurt. These blocks are cool. You stop talking as you realize how to stop the leak. I wish I knew how to stop the leak. I stopped the re leak by reading the second story. Read after coming back up. Okay, uh, put it back. Put it back. Uh, how, how do I stop the leak? Quartz blocks. Oh, that's right, because they match the bathroom. That's, that's kind of funny. That's pretty funny. Uh, it does match the bathroom. So I guess that's kind of what they're used for, hopefully. Let's take a look to see if we can find the other quartz block. There's a bunch of stuff. I won't go into there yet. I want to block this leak. Um, leak? I'm looking for another quartz block, please. No, I'm stuck in a cob cobweb now. <laughs> Release me. Erg. Okay. There we go. Quartz block. Hello, quartz block. All right, let's read this story. It's the first one that we would have gotten to when we came down. We're missing a quartz block. You start cough, coughing the second you come down here. Dust and webs everywhere, but you ignore them. I wonder what I can find in this place. So many chests, which will win me the lottery. Um, well, they all had clearly good stuff in them, but I can't block the leak off. Am I supposed to use this crafting table? Or did I miss something? If I miss something, then it's okay. I'll have to go back and get it later. But for now, we'll just push on through this. And let's just take all the loot. Here's another story. Let's quickly read this. I think we'll hit this one afterwards. Nothing of real value except for that axe. Hope it's not just because it's made of gold. Inspecting it, you see the axe is on the brink of death. Better be careful with it. I wonder what I can use it for. As you look around a bit more, the, an idea pops up. I think I know where this will be useful. I think I do, actually. I think I do know where they'll be useful, and it's in that area with the crafting table and the furnaces that were blocked off. And I guess that means I'm not supposed to take these? You can have the rules and the backstory and the sapling. <laughs> Hopefully I don't need to come back and get those, but for now, the game can have them. And the axe, that's useful. And torches, might as well, because I already have them. And I'm going to take all the arrows, just in case. And the bow and stuff. Maybe I'm not supposed to have it. I'm not sure. I don't even know. <laughs> but we'll just go on and see. And in this chest... Eh, it's okay. I'll come back. So, read after coming back up. Here's the storybook. Again. And it says, read after coming back up. I only have two blocks. I'd need one more to fix that. I should get moving if... Oops. I may have done this out of order. So I was supposed to find another block. Alright, this is a disaster. I'm doing this all out of order. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing for me. Is this going on? I don't know. Is this... Was it a block here? Huh. So let's just read this story. It's a story! I wasted a lever on for nothing? Seriously, why would you torture me like this, you monster? Why? Talking to yourself has never seemed so normal to you. 
These potatoes look horrible. I'd rather not touch them. Oh, well, I guess that lever uh, that was holding on to dear for, for dear life uh, didn't come of much use. Unfortunately. Oh, wow. Wait, no, no, no. I'm not supposed to go through that door. I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to take this golden axe and... I'm confused. I'm lost. <laughs> uh, was that it? Was that upstairs? Er, here. Okay. Hopefully that was okay to do. Maybe I got another lever. And a story and a cookie. A story. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm so lost in this game. <laughs> we'll see if I'm even remotely on track. I don't remember this small room here, but it sure looked like a good idea to do some more of my work on inside. Peace and quiet. As you think about actually making such a room, you wake up from your days and grab what you found. Seems like there's nothing else around here. Should I head down now? You hesitate to step down, but what else is there to do? Come on, Brian. Y you can d do it. Nothing to be afraid of. Was that the end? Yeah, it was. Hold on, I said I grabbed stuff, and the axe is still workable. Oh, can, can I use it for here? I mean, that would be another place to use it, right? Uh, there's nothing in that chest. Did I just, did I just make a boo-boo? I feel like I was supposed to use them for those two. Maybe that's why I had two durability left. I haven't checked this chest, I don't think, and it has another story in it. The kitchen. Maybe I'll find something useful here. Alright, I guess it's finally time to go into the kitchen. <laughs> I have a lot of books. I have a lot of storybooks on me. <laughs> Let's make our way inside of here. Anything under that? Nope. Nope. Doors? Nope. <laughs> Maybe I'll use my lever to open the fridge. No, I think I should use it over here. But we'll place that down later. Let's see. Anything in the furnaces? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, cobblestone. Cobble cobblestone. C co cobble cobblestone I got it I did it I did it guys let's grab some food wait no I haven't been eating food interesting um, but yeah so we have enough to make another level lever so let's do that right now so we got two levers total and let's read this story we're short on surprise supplies <laughs> short on surprise we're short on supplies. Nobody has brought any food lately. What are we going to eat tonight? The shops are so far away, we won't make it before the closing hours. Martha. As you read this, you vaguely remember you've heard these words earlier. Martha's words. Your wife's words. However, you cannot remember when or where. Nor where. Is Martha my wife? I don't know. Hmm. Strange things are happening in the middle of nowhere. Let's open this door. On this side. Hmm, here's another rather large room with a coffee table. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What is this glass? Here's a TV. This looks like the room I started in, except it's bigger and different. Is this a TV or... I don't know. Are we looking at the same place outside? This is very strange. I think... We should check this chest first. There's so many stories. I think I'm going to start putting these back. I'm sorry if I need them later, but I think it's time to clear out the story inventory. Okay. You wander into the living room. This looks pretty nicely done, except for those webs. They're everywhere. I'm going to hire a maid one day. Having a look around the room, you focus on the main couch in front of the television. Why do I suddenly despise coffee tables? With a sudden urge of breaking it, nobody will know, right? Coffee tables! Smash! <laughs> Destroy coffee table. There we go. It's because we can find fun stuff beneath it. Um, here's another lever. And... Am I not supposed to have blocked off the... The room until now? Huh. Um... What a weird place to hide something. Two times in a similar spot. I'll try harder next time. You scream and join. Found it. Time to become a plumber. I wasn't supposed to clog up the leak until now. That's what I get for cheating. Okay, I should never have... Uh, I should definitely never have cheated. And... Uh, and clogged the hole up with this crafting table. 
I don't think it changed anything because I would have gone down here anyway. But there we go. Now we have a proper, a proper, un unclogged, unclog un 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 floody bathroom. Words I use them sometimes. <laughs> Let's just check around this chest. Nothing. And so we clogged up that lever, or we clogged up that bathroom, or yeah, that leak. Words. And we <laughs> get into the next room. <gasps> Um, here we go. I think this will be the last story before we wrap up. As you can clearly tell, I am going insane as well, just along with Brian. <laughs> I can't even string together coherent sentences. My goodness, last story, here we go. You stare at the front door, not believing that is the way out. Is this really the exit? But you notice there's a second door behind. Are you kidding me? Two doors. Two doors and I only have one lever. But, unfortunately for me, that's it for this episode of Bite Of. So thank you so much for joining me for Bite Of Alone Daybreak. It's been a really fun adventure map. It's uh, somewhat confusing at times for me. But nonetheless, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. So let me know if you want me to continue this map and turn it into a series. And once again, as I pace back and forth nervously, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.